Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to Skyblock. Yes, that's right my friends, we are beginning a brand new Skyblock series in Minecraft 1.16.1, the Nether update. Because the Nether update has changed a lot about this map and the map maker Dr. Trog has provided a brand new Skyblock experience with access to all of the Nether update features that simply wouldn't be renewable if you ended up loading up an old version of the map. There are new islands to be found in the nether, the nether resources are present there and there is a lot of cool stuff that we can do in this map now that simply wasn't possible with the old map. So I know a lot of people will be sad to seeing the old series going away, but don't worry my friends, we are starting a brand new Skyblock adventure here and I'm really happy to have you folks along for the ride. So sit back and enjoy because this is about to be a bit of a wild ride. Because even though we start here in the familiar environment of the Skyblock Island, we have the same chest of everything in front of us, we have all of the resources we are used to. I've already tried this map out and I gotta say some stuff is about to get a little bit weird. For a start, as soon as we start to mine a dirt block, Things are going to go very, very wrong for us. Yes, that's right my friends, we have been catapulted through the dimensions and landed in the nether. And right here in this chest is an explanation. Skyblock 4.08 by Dr. Trog starts in the nether in celebration of the nether update. Can you figure out how to get back to the normal Skyblock overworld? Dr. Trog will give you a hint. Head north. And north is that direction I checked. <laughs> I checked the first time I played through this. And we only have one block of dirt to our name right now and a bunch of rotten flesh in the chest. I'm going to leave the book in here, but Dr. Trog has provided us with some other resources, namely some blue ice and a bucket of lava. And I think you know what that means if you've been watching my nether update videos thus far. We are going to have to make ourselves a basalt generator to get back to the overworld. Because as you can see, as I kind of turn in the distance, that tower from the uh, original skyblock map the tower that has the nether fortress stuff around it that right there is out there in the distance and further out in the distance is a portal that will take us home to the overworld so naturally the first thing we're going to do is punch the only available tree which is this warped stem and thankfully i get the logs the first time it's always a little bit risky grabbing these and not having them go off the edge but it looks like we're going to get as much wood out of this tree as we possibly can which is great we'll be able to make our first tools with this and you'll notice that the land of this island here is blackstone, which can very easily be turned into stone tools if we have the right stuff on us. I am backing off from the edge a little bit here. There we go, we got the last piece of warped stem. And you'll notice that right here we have another warped fungus, meaning we could grab another warped tree from this area if we wanted to, and if we had some bone meal with which to grow it. Luckily, Dr. Trog has thought of that as well, because if we craft our first crafting table and make some wooden tools, we'll be able to dig into the black stone surface of this island, and we'll be able to find some pretty cool stuff down there. For a start, if I dig up this block here, there are some bone blocks underneath here, so we can actually harvest these and get ourselves some bone meal nice and early to get started on the tree farming grind. I am not going to be growing this tree here, however, because that is the only piece of warped nylium that currently exists in the world, and even though I could bone meal it to spread the nylium to that netherrack, I don't want to risk losing the nylium at this point, and we're going to have to make a basalt generator around this piece of soul soil, which is going to require us to get a few blocks here. I'm going to grab myself a few more of these warped uh, warp blocks, and then we're going to make those into a basalt generator around the outside of that block of soul soil. Instead of moving the soul soil block, we're going to bring the basalt generator to it. And we are going to need a lot of blocks if we want to make it back to the overworld. The portal isn't even within render distance here, and the first time I played through this section of the map just to see if this was a uh, viable series, I ended up getting to the overworld with about three stacks worth of blocks. And from there, we might need a few extra blocks to carry us a few extra steps along the way. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is set up a basalt generator right here. And we're going to have some blue ice next to the soul soil, which is what the lava has to run over, of course. And then we're going to build up some stuff around the outside here so that we can make sure we have enough space to 
pour the lava and then have the basalt generate here. And thankfully these warped warp blocks are fire resistant, they will not burn, so we should be totally fine to place the lava in there now, and this is always a nerve-wracking part of this process, but then there we go, we get ourselves some basalt, and if I stand right up close to this, hopefully we shouldn't end up losing too many of the basalt blocks into the lava source. We're still going to miss a couple of them here and there, I'm going to wear my wooden pickaxe all the way down so that we don't have to use a stone pickaxe until we are ready to, but then we should hopefully be able to get enough basalt that we can make our way to the overworld. And it is a very tricksy thing indeed that we've ended up with basalt as the only material that we can get, because right now, basalt is still going to be a spawnable block. It's a completely solid block and we cannot make slabs out of it, meaning any pathways that we make in the nether right now are going to be spawnable, and so we really don't want to have to return to this island to get more basalt after we have made the path to the portal. We want to make sure that we've got enough blocks to get ourselves home, otherwise we might potentially have to run back through piglins, zombie piglins, and even magma cubes that spawn here, because we are of course in a basalt delta biome here, as you can tell from the biome fog and the particles of ash falling all around us. We do not want any mobs spawning here that are going to potentially stand between us and more resources. Instead, we'll need to gather as many resources as we possibly can before we make the trip home. But I'm going to leave a single durability left on this pickaxe. I'm going to pop that in the chest here. We're going to make our first blackstone pickaxe, and this is where we can kick it into overdrive, because I have brought in the replay mod for this series. Since we've already done a skyblock series before, I thought I might do something a little bit different with the production here, and so anytime we get to something specifically grindy that I still want to show myself doing on camera, we are going to switch to replay mod for a time lapse or some kind of like external view so you guys can see a little bit more of the world around us. Right now all I'm going to do is stand here and grind my way up to a few stacks worth of basalt so that I can make the bridge home, and once we're done with this time lapse we should be ready to get going. Hey folks, welcome back. So I am pretty much done mining all of the basalt I want to mine here. I am just going to briefly grab this shroom light from on top of here because any lighting blocks at this point are going to be very, very useful to me and I think we are ready to make our way home. I've got myself almost six full stacks of basalt and I will confess that I made one brief mistake during that which was not leaving myself enough durability to mine any more uh, of the black stone here so I could make myself some more stone tools. So in the end, I had to sacrifice a little bit of my warped wood to make another wooden pickaxe. But don't worry, we're going to be taking that back to the overworld and using it as furnace fuel so it will still end up smelting something for us. But we will need three stacks of blocks to get from here to the nether portal that's out there in the distance to the north. I will probably need another three stacks or at least two in order to get from where the portal spawns us to the central island because it does not spawn a portal next to the central island as far as I have seen. And from there we should be able to make a start and if we've got any basalt blocks left over we can use those to surround our cobblestone generator so hopefully we don't set too much stuff on fire once we're in the overworld. Now I am gonna grab myself this crafting table because we may as well take that with us and if I can take the chest with me as well I might as well do that because any storage at this point is good storage. As for the layers of bone blocks that are in the center of this island, I think I'm just going to grab a couple of those right now. I'm not going to be too greedy because as you can see that bottoms out the island there. So I think this is where we're going to leave it. We are going to make a stand <laughs> and branch out towards the where I hope the portal is out there in the distance. Now, I guess we just have to bridge out here and I can show you guys all oh, as the, uh, the the fog fades back into the normal, what I presume is a nether wastes biome. I'll be able to show you guys what else is out here in the nether, which frankly is not a lot, but there are some islands out there in the distance. There is the familiar nether fortress tower where the end portal resides, so we can return to that in future. And of course it is a shame that we had to leave our old skyblock world behind, but I think we can do some very fun stuff with this new world and hopefully keep it going into the next couple of updates. I was hoping that the nether update would actually leave us with something we could still do in our 1.15 skyblock world in terms of bringing it forward to 1.16, but sadly there was just too much stuff that wasn't renewable right away and couldn't be obtained through the normal means. The new biomes are just too important to the experience, and I think it's really nice having access to that stuff now thanks to the changes Dr. Trog has made to this map. And we're about halfway through the blocks right now. Let's uh, see if we get ourselves 
over there. I think another stack or so should do the trick, and we should line up pretty nicely with the edge of this nether portal, leaving us with only a quick journey through the overworld to get back to the central island. And I do keep freaking myself out slightly hearing my footsteps on the uh, the basalt because it sounds a little bit like a magma cube jumping. But as you can see in the distance, the zombie piglins have started to spawn. And thankfully, if we got some zombie piglins in between us and any piglins, hopefully the piglins shouldn't end up trying to pathfind towards me because they're too scared of the zombies. But here's hoping that we can make it to that portal without anything spawning near that. I think we should be okay. And then hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the overworld. And the last few blocks are taking us there. Perfect. We've made it to the portal and I don't see anything else spawning here. It's got the look of the ruined portals that you'll now find in the overworld and the nether, but it's actually complete. And all we need is the fire charge that Dr. Trog has left us here in this chest and we can make it through to the overworld. Now I'm going to put a few things in this chest first just to make doubly sure that we can come back through and get this stuff any time. I don't want to take it all through there with me and then find that I end up falling into the void or something like that. So I think I'm going to just take a few blocks of basalt through first and then from there we will start a little platform and we'll see where we end up. So let's take ourselves through to the overworld and return home. There we go. As you can see, the overworld portal generates quite a distance from what we think of as the Skyblock Island. And there, there's the hole I dug originally to get us to the nether in the first place. So it looks like we are going to be able to bridge out from the corner of this and make ourselves a bridge back over there. It looks like it is daytime as well, so that's as good as can be. Let's go grab the rest of our materials. And at this point, cluttered though it is, I'm just going to take everything that was in that chest with me and I should be able to bridge over with the basalt that we have here. And if not, I always have these warped planks and the warp blocks that can take us a little bit further. I just really wish we could build slabs out of basalt because it does seem like we are going to have some mob spawns to contend with before too long. On the flip side, at least we have a permanent path to the nether portal and it looks like we should have enough blocks to get ourselves there. We just need a couple of stacks worth to get from the portal out this way and then from here to the island I think we'll take another 50 or so blocks and once we're there we can finally start chopping wood and getting renewable wood on the go which is going to be very very worth having because in terms of the resources that we have in the nether we could potentially expand our tree farming operation there by bone mealing the warped nylium to get more warped fungus but Having a larger area of netherrack to do that with will definitely improve our chances. And I did see some netherrack piled up around the nether portal. Yes, there we go. We're here. We're back. We've made it. And I think we'll be able to get netherrack from there, if not from some other kind of data pack drop that might be somewhere else in this uh, in this skyblock pack. I don't necessarily know what all the ins and outs of it are yet, but it's going to be fun finding out. In the meantime, though, we've made it back to the overworld. We are standing on an oak tree, and I think the first thing we need to do, I really wish I had a fortune hoe for this, but we need to take the tree down and make sure that we can get another oak sapling so that we can regrow this tree once it's all gone. Yes, there we go. We've got our oak sapling. We've made it. <laughs> and we got a second one as well. Great stuff. All right, well, I'll need to deposit those in the chest. Of course, these are very precious resources. We do not want them to go to waste at this point in the world, and we might even get a couple more sticks from some of these leaves of course there we go saplings are in the chest and we have plenty of building material left let's just dump all of this stuff in here just in case anything ridiculous happens but we do still have the ice the lava bucket a spare bucket there as well so we can move our water around and a crafting table that we can set up right next door to that chest seems like a perfect addition okay now we need to take down this section of the tree we'll turn that into a bunch of oak slabs we will expand the platform out slightly and from there we can start working on stuff like cobblestone generation and the usual skyblock business I do still have some warped wood in there as well, so we could potentially make some more sticks and stuff out of that if we needed them, but I think we're just briefly going to punch the grass here to see if we get some seeds, and we did. Wonderful. So that's a wheat farm that we can start as well. Let's grab the flowers while we're here because we all need those for dyes a little bit later on, and we can throw all of that stuff in a chest. I should also mention that this Skyblock pack, if you have not seen it before, has a really comprehensive advancement section here, which will actually give you a very, very useful guide to all of the stuff that you can do in each dimension. So it will be very worthwhile 
following this and using it as a kind of achievement book to guide you through the process of Skyblock if you are unfamiliar with this pack and you're just getting started so that you can play along with me. It seems like we've already got the portal advancement, which is pretty funny, and there's definitely a bunch of other stuff we can do here, including getting all of the trees and every type of fungus as well, getting warped and crimson fungus, which I'm sure is out there further out in the nether in an island I have not yet seen. And hopefully it doesn't transport me to the nether if I pick up my second piece of dirt. Nope, looks like we are all good there. We are in the clear. And I'm going to start this island using slabs a little bit further down. So we still have a little bit of room that we can take some of this dirt. Dirt will, of course, be renewable, but there are new ways of getting renewable dirt. Now that we can trade gravel with piglins, gravel is part of the piglin bartering system. So we need to make sure that we'll have some sort of like gold equipment that we can use to barter with the piglins. We'll need some gold ingots later, of course. And that's going to be part of the process of getting renewable dirt now, where the Skyblock pack that I played before ended up having gravel as a renewable drop from zombies. I assume that is not going to be the case anymore, so we will need to make sure that we can get gravel the way that you can get it in 1.16. While the day is still young, I guess I can start another tree farm right here, and we can take down the last few pieces of wood and leaves from the sky above us. And we did get another sapling from that one. Excellent. Well, I'm glad we managed that. We'll put all of the dirt in the chest there, of course. Grab these last two pieces of oak wood and leave room for this tree to grow and prosper. In the meantime, while that's happening, I can do something I've never done in Skyblock before, and I can absolutely guarantee that, and make a cobblestone generator using basalt, because this is going to be a nice fireproof material to build the cobblestone generator out of. We don't want the fire spreading to any of the slabs here. Fire spread is on in this world, which it isn't usually in my survival guide world, so I do need to make sure that I have adequate space over here to make sure that this whole area doesn't end up getting completely burnt up. And I think we're going to set up our cobblestone generator over here on this little platform of basalt I'm building out. Of course, we will need to make sure we have a divot there for the water to flow into, because if you've made a cobblestone generator before, you will know that you need to have the water flowing downwards to avoid it flowing across the generator into the lava. And we are using up a lot of the basalt blocks to surround this, but don't worry, we can always grab more of those and we have plenty of it left over. So the water will flow from this side into the divot there, the lava will flow from this side, and on this block here, we should start to see cobblestone being generated. We are going to need a lot of it <laughs> in the days to come. So we'll place the ice there, break that so it turns into water, the lava goes on the opposite side, and there we go, we have ourselves a cobblestone generator. It feels like Skyblock again, and we have the advancement for the cobblestone generator as well. Well, folks... It's been quite an adventure getting this first episode of Skyblock all set up, and I think now we have made that important first step of returning from the nether to the overworld and setting up a cobblestone generator. This seems like the place to leave it. So folks, thank you so much for watching this first episode of this brand new Skyblock 116 series. Don't forget to leave a like on the episode for me if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.